Good morning. Good morning. Good. Good morning. Mm, let me get comfortable. Hey, y'all. I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way. There is no day to stay in bed, huh? I am up. Ready. Willing to do some things differently. I hope you are too. To my church goers, I say happy Sabbath. Have a great day, everyone. To my rollovers, it's all right. Come on back to the replay. It's Saturday. Yes. To my prayers, those people who are intercessors, praying for everyone, for everything, blessing the world, I say namaste. To my Muslim prayers, those folks that get up with a fervent passion to pray there five times a day, I say, ooh, Walaikum salam. I am grateful to my Buddhists. I say, oh, meditate for me, please. And to anyone who does any kind of different spiritual practices or practices that I have not mentioned, I say thank you for when you pray, I pray. And when I pray, you pray. For we are all committed to knowing or unknowing that we are connected spiritually. When I change, you change. Life changes, yes. And that's what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about doing something different. Ooh, and as soon as I finish inviting some folks on, I'm not inviting a lot, but maybe I am. Some people just show up anyway, right? Some have to be reminded, and it's all good. Some just are who they are. I just love my friends. I have a lot of people on my Facebook page, my personal page. And sometimes I have people that I... I don't understand on my page, and that's all right, too. We do what we do. I love my, I love my people. I just do. I you know, and I'm grateful that I can love no matter what. I'm grateful that I can be in your space at given times and enjoy you and learn from you. You help me expand. And I am so grateful. I am so grateful. Some of you I've known since you were children because my relationship began with your parents. And now you're grown up. Mm. Got families of your own. It amazes me. I am grateful. Because you see, there was a time when I didn't think I was going to be here at this age, I really honestly thought that I would have passed by now. But God had other plans. And it wasn't because I wasn't trying to kill myself unconsciously. <laughs> because I was. And I admit to that. I accept that. Yes. Some of you have known since you were babies. Um, and most, and all of you, really, I am grateful that you passed through my life. When I see your names, I, I smile. I, I, lo I love Facebook for that reason. Because some of you I would never, ever see or have any sort of kind of interaction because I don't use the phone like that. I don't call people, and people don't call. But when I see you on Facebook... It warms my heart. It warms my heart. 
when I see you do a post, I just saw my uh, West Indian friend post about carnival, and she was beautiful. She's one of the, in her carnival troupe, and I love to see, I remember her when she was a baby. Oh, she was a beautiful, beautiful woman. Ah, God is good. But I'm just going on and on. Hey, oh, I got some people. Hey, Brian, how are you? How's that baby girl of yours? Thank you for joining, Brian. God, life is good and all is well. Mm. It's a different kind of morning this morning. For some reason, I'm in a space of, I don't know, happiness and joy in, on one hand, but concern, too. Um, today, I'm actually going, I'm kind of cross between going to a business affair, which I really need to go to. It's called Super Saturday in Beltsville. It's about my goal saving business. I really want to go because I have not gone. However, my spirit is calling me to go and have a womb sauna with the Tamar. Because my spirit needs to be cleansed. My spirit needs to release. I, in order for me to move forth in the rest of this year, I must clean out old stuff. For me, that means that I need to have a spa. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Hey, 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 folks are coming on. Hey, Joy. I didn't see what Brian said. Oh, really? Oh, tell your mommy I said happy Mother's Day, Bryant, and keep that baby in check. She is being a brat because she's, she's been here before. <laughs> she has to learn it. She has to learn from you, too. Keep her. Keep yourself in check. In check. These children that are born today are um, know that they've been here before. They are very powerful beings coming back with a whole lot of stuff. And so we have to n listen because they have very, they have wisdom. And sometimes being the parent, you don't want to listen to your babies. But sometimes you need, your growth depends on you listening to the babies, especially when they're babies because they still are in touch with the spirit without a lot of garbage. They're so raw. They haven't been influenced by the world around us as much as we have. I love your baby. <laughs> She's a strong spirit. Okay, so let's get on. Oh, so today I'm going to be cleansed by Tamar. I love Tamar. And every four weeks, I try to get there at least four times a year to clean out all kinds of stuff that my conscious can't clean out by myself. Um, a lot of it. And we're talking about it in these last couple of lessons. Hey, Jackie, how are you? Hey, Valerie. Thank you for joining. Um, we've been talking about the road to forgiveness in A Course in Miracles. You know, forgive, unforgiveness can hold us hostage and bring about all kinds of turmoil and pain. You know, we we don't want to let go of that 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 thing that somebody owes us something, or somebody did something to us. We don't want that, but we want peace, right? But we want happiness, yes. But we want change, and we think that sometimes in that human side that we don't have to do any work. You know, we're, the world should show up like we wanted to show up anyway, even though we don't do anything. But it is our, it is our inner nature, to clear out and get in touch with that God nature within us. 
And the first way is forgiveness. So, Holy Father, we open our heart to listen to what you have to say today. To go within, to be still, to understand that yours is the answer to our peace, harmony, and love. That yours is the way to heal. That when we heal our inner self, we will heal the outer self. Father God, we are thankful and grateful for all that you have shown us, all that you, op all that you open us to. We receive. For we know that when we change, everything changes. When we perceive differently, everything is differently, different, different in perception. Yes. We ask that you bless all our family and our friends, that you open doors that they did not even think would be open and let them walk through and shine your light. Father God, we ask for everything that you have to offer us in big ways, Lord. We know that all our needs will be taken care of, that all our needs are taken care of, and that all we have to do is say thank you. Father God, please accept my one good prayer. And I have a lot of prayers, but this one, simple. Thank you, God. More, please. Yes. Thank you, God. More, please. Ashe. Amen. And so it is. Yes, yes, yes. God is good. So today, our thought for today, our word for today is just five words. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Can somebody type that in? Forgiveness offers everything I want. And it didn't say some of the things. It said forgiveness offers everything I want. Mm. I was listening to this today because when I wake up every morning, I, I listen. Sometimes at night before I go to bed, I'll listen to the prayer for the day, the thought for today, the lesson for that day. Because it means that I thoroughly get to understand. Even though I've read them many times. Every time I hear them, I get a different understanding. For, forgiveness gives us everything. When we forgive, we actually are opening to giving and receiving. When we give forgiveness, we walk in forgiveness before it even is needed to be given. Everything changes. So what could you want forgiveness not can, what what could you want that forgiveness could not give that's it what is it do you want peace forgiveness offers it do you want happiness a quiet mind a certainty of purpose a sense of worth and beauty that transcends the world do you want a quietness that cannot be disturbed. A gentleness that never can be hurt. Is this what you want? Do, a, do you want an abiding comfort and a rest so perfect that it can never be upset? Ah, forgiveness offers everything that I want. All of all this forgiveness offers you, all of it, everything, and more. It sparkles on your eyes as you awaken with a smile. It gives you joy with which you to meet the day. Yes, it does. Hey, Apostle, how are you? It's good to see you. Forgiveness does all of this. It soothes your forehead while you sleep. It rests upon your eyelids so you see no dream of fear or evil. Forgiveness. Malice and attack. And when you wake again, it offers you another day of happiness and peace. 
All of this forgiveness offers you and more. All of this forgiveness can offer me and more. Forgiveness lets the veil be lifted upon the hot up. It allows the veil to open, excuse me. It allows it to show the face of Christ for those who look with unforgiving eyes upon the world. How many of you know those kinds of people? Hardening hearts, as, as the Bible says they are. Oh, it will, forgiveness will clear your memory of all those things that hurt. All of the things that you had to cross to get over to forgiveness. It will erase everything. <laughs> it will erase all the trivial effects and the translucent promises never that were kept. It will, it will erase all of that. Why would you seek an answer other than the answer that will answer everything? forgiveness. Here is the perfect answer given to the imperfect questions. Meaningless request. Half-hearted willingness to hear. And less than halfway indul indulgence. Partial trust. Here is the answer. Seek for it no more. You will find no other answer. Remember, forgiveness. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Forgiveness offers everything I want. So today, open your eyes upon the happy world of safety and of peace. Forgiveness is the means by which it comes to take the place of hell. Mm. In quietness, it raises up the great the, and greets you because your eyes are open. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Feel your heart deepen with tranquility. The more you say it, the more you believe it. Forever newly born, arise in your awareness. What you will remember then can never be described. Yet, your forgiveness offers it to you. Yes, forgiveness offers everything I want. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Remember, remembering the gifts of, of forgiveness give, we undertake our practice today with hope and faith that this will be the day salvation will be ours earnestly and gladly. What we seek today, awareness, we hold the key within our hands, accepting heaven's answers to the hell we've made, but where we would remain no more. Why? Forgiveness gives me everything I desire. Forgiveness gives me peace and love and hope and joy. Forgiveness. Morning and evening are gladly, we ask that you gladly say this in the morning and in the evening. Begin in hopefulness for we have reached the turning point at which the road becomes easier. Because we say these things. We're on 121. We've had 120 different things to say to ourselves. 
that have brought us to a space where we can go on in peace and love. And now the way is short that we yet that yet we travel. We are close indeed to the appointed end of the dream. That dream that peace will always be. We we are seeking and becoming more endowed with the ability to change our world because we are changing our perception. Today it will be given to you to feel the peace forgiveness offers and the joy, the lifting of the veil holds out to you. Before the light you will receive today, the world will fade until it disappears and you will see another world arise. Hey, Eric, you will see another world arise, a world you have no words for. The picture that is so beautiful that you just don't even think about trying to understand it. You just accept it. Now we walk directly into the light and receive the gifts that have been held in store for us since the beginning of time. Keep waiting for today. Keep waiting for the day. Today, the day is the day that you forgive everything for everybody and everybody for everything. Today is the day that you state in your mind what forgiveness can give you. Forgiveness is everything you've been waiting for. You've been wanting for. Today, all the things that you are given, all the things that you want are given to you. Let not your gifts recede throughout the day as you turn again to meet the world. Yes. Don't let the world take you away. You take away your gifts by upsetting your apple cart, as they say. Retain your gifts, clear awareness, and clear awareness as you see the chainless, changeless in the heart of change, light of truth behind appearances. Be attempted not to let your gifts slip by and drift into forgetfulness. So today when things start looking or appearing or feeling a little rough, remember, forgiveness offers everything I want. Today I have accepted this as truth. Today I have received the gift of God. Mm. Let's say it. It felt differently in my heart. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Today, I have accepted this as truth. Today, I have accepted this as truth. Forgiveness offers everything. Today, I have received the gifts of God. Ooh, doesn't that feel good? It does. So let's write it down. It's on the Facebook page of Minister Rosa J. It's also on the page I Am Rosa J. Forgiveness offers everything I want today. I have accepted this as true. Namaste. Have a good God day. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Be forever blessed. Forgiveness offers everything. Yes. Be blessed. Pastor Dorian. Pastor. 
It's great to see you. Go back to the replay. See you tomorrow.